and welcome back. I am your host Susanna May O'Hagan and today we are going to be talking about pink sauce. This is part two. So over here for part one. Okay, YouTuber A-T-O-Z-Y also hit out at the Chef P in a series of videos and the comments beneath Bow Creator content is rife with criticism against the pink sauce creator for her attitude towards the critic. At the time of, okay, of writing it, it seemed as though the official K-Show YouTube channel has removed its video of the pink sauce episode, as well as their tweet promoting the episode. Now we're going to go to here. Remember the TikTok sensation, the pink sauce? Does anyone re remember the viral pink sauce? Here's a photo of it. Pink sauce. What is the pink sauce? The pink sauce became a viral sensation on TikTok after the creator, Chef Pete, uploaded herself dipping a fried chicken tenor into this unknown sauce on June 11, 2022. For the looks of her TikTok, she put the sauce on more than just chicken. She put it on french fries, veggies, donuts, pasta, burgers, pretty much all the food groups. Pink sauce. According to the Pink Sauce website, the sauce is made up of dragon fruit, honey, sunflower seed oil, chili, and garlic. Preservatives, nutrition labels also listed hot pink, Himalayan sea salt, as well as less than 2% lemon juice, milk, and cystic acid. Pink sauce label. The sauce had TikTok users going wild with questions. It had become the mystery sauce of TikTok. At the height of its viralness, the ingredients stated above had not been released yet to viewers. One of the main mysteries of the sauce was the color. It was a different pink every other upload. In the original video, it was a magenta-like pink, and a few days later, it appeared a lighter pink. It is early days the sauce was sold online for $20. Buyers complained about receiving damaged bottles, and it began a rotten smelling sauce. There was also a significant accusation about the product's safety. The original bottles bottle listed milk and it's one of the ingredients without directions to refrigerate the product. The pink sauce made it into grocery stores. Even with all the concern, pink sauce made its way to the store. Chef P paused production and reached a deal with Days Gourmet which makes hot sauce and pasta sauce. Walmart became the exclusive retailer of the pink sauce July 2023. Reviews of the pink sauce. Well, once it hit shelves of Walmart, my best friend and I decided to grab a bottle from the Dean's Bergen Bridge Walmart location. In Walmart, it was about $8. Our next stop was finding something to eat with it. We decided to go with Popeye's chicken fingers. I like to put a disclaimer that I am not a huge on many sauces. This is the person that reviewed it. That includes mayonnaise, ranch, etc. The taste of the pink sauce was almost indescribable. It was like a sweet and tangy ranch, not something that I was too fond of. That's new. What's new with the pink sauce? She now has a blazing blue sauce. Well, you will be giving this one a try. So as of well, I'll tell you in a few minutes because that's going to be part of the story. Now my internet's acting up again. Great. I thought I was fine and then all of a sudden... Okay. Just how dangerous is the pink sauce from TikTok? Is it true that this sauce gave you bodilism and when will the government sue this lady for investigating this abomination? Pink sauce is a pink dimping sauce created by user Veronica Shaw, better known as her screen name Chef P. Safety and labeling concerns caused the FDA to stop the production and 
online sales of pink sauce. A receipt changed and partnership with Dave Scarnet bought it to stores shelves in January 2023. Pink sauce. Um, Amazon hates when Prime members do this. Uh, can pink sauce give you bottleism if you consume it? On June 11th, Chef P, a Miami-based private chef and social media influencer, posted a short TikTok of herself dipping a chicken tender into a bowl of bright pink sauce before taking a bite. That one video gathered over 755 views, but only just began the journey of a product she invented called pink sauce. Foodborne bodilism can be caused by improperly storing foods such as home canned foods that have not been properly prepared or a food that is not prepared or stored properly according to the CDC. Is the pink sauce from TikTok really that dangerous to eat? Pink sauce isn't safe. By consuming it, you can get sick. If you bought it, get rid of it. Here are reasons other than it can get you sick if you sh why you shouldn't eat it. Wrong labeling on the back. This was made by an unlicensed person or parts of it arriving spoiled. Pink sauce can give you bodilism. Friends put California Reaper hot sauce in my drink as a prank. Okay, I think that is the end of that one. Dave's Gourmet says they paid the pink sauce creator over one, uh, 12, 120k and continue to make all payments as do both parties is discussed. Dave, Gourmet, okay. Dave Gourmet says they paid the pink sauce lady and continue to make payments. Dave's Gourmet, the company that bought Chef P's pink sauce to Walmart shelves, is responding to the recent allegations made by the creator. She recently went viral again, and this time it was for claiming she was financially sabotaged by the company which she did not name. Earlier this month, Chef P made social posts launching her GoFundMe campaign. Shaw was seeking assistance to help feed her kids and avoid eviction. After announcing the fundraiser, Shaw posted several since deleted videos accusing the company of rejecting her marketing ideas and attempting to steal her legacy. A representative for Dave's Gourmet provided the following statement in response to Shaw's post. Dave's Gourmet has uh, heard to the term of the agreement with Ms. Shaw. We disagree with Ms. Shaw's allegation. The statement reads, Dave Gourmet has paid Chef P over $1,000 to date, and it continues to make all payments as due and on time based upon the term of the contract. We're offer, offered to reimburse Ms. Shaw for her lawyer's time to go over the terms of the agreement and how it relates to the payments that were made to Ms. Shaw. It continued. She indicated that she's open to a Revelation of the dispute and the parties are in discussion. Yeah, I really don't like this page. Dave Gourmet has enough exposed Pink Sauce Chef. Ever since partnering with Dave Gourmet, Pink Sauce creator Chef P has done nothing but slander them on social media, left and right. She's claiming they are not properly con com compensating her and even started a GoFundMe. DG has tried to remain professional Chef P throughout this, but has finally had enough and released a statement detailing everything between the two since they've partnered, exposing her in process. It should be noted that the statement has since been deleted, but YouTube videos on the matter have D Dave's Gourmet statements preserved. Dave's Gourmet revealed that Veronica received $45,000 upfront for purchasing the pink sauce brand from her. It was agreed that she would be responsible for handling all refunds to customers who received bad products or didn't receive anything despite paying for it prior to the partnership. 
After the agreement was signed, it turned out Miss Shaw did not have enough money to cover all refunds, so Dave Scarmet gave her another 30000 to cover refunds, even though it was not the responsibility. Fall of 2022, Shaw was struggling financially as Dave Gourmet provided Shaw with multiple cash advance. Is Alexa, please stop. My alarm. Sorry. Ah, oh, that tolerated more than 40000 They did not charge her any interest or fees. These advances were supposed to be offset by the future royalties that Shaw was going to earn. February 2023, Veronica requested over 10000 in marketing expenses to throw herself a birthday party? Girl, I'm lucky if I even have like a dinner and like gifts. Trust me. You ain't getting $10,000 to throw yourself a birthday party. To maybe be featured on TikTok, she also requested that they pay for her dress. $800 in shoes. $600 plus. Dave Gourzmet would not approve these expenses, suggesting a smaller budget. She got upset and never corroborated with them since. February 2023, Shaw attempted to submit business expenses reports for personal expenses, like buying four pairs of sneakers or expensing her grocery bills. Dave Gourmet informed that such activities were fraudulent. March 2023, Shaw communicated that she had spent the entirety of her previous advances and that she needed another advance to feed her children to avoid being evicted. DG sent her two advances that totaled $5,000? Jeez, girl! May 2023, due to the large advances on Shaw's royalty payments, the balance of Q1 royalties owned Shaw came to 666. Eight, six, anyway, 6686. DG decided to hold off on deducting 10000 in advances for the royalties due to a later period so that she would have more funds to cover her needs at the time and insist that pay Shaw 10666668. This balance and all payments process have been on line and communicate to her constantly. DG then decided the above mentioned advances of 10000 at the second quarter royalty payments. June 2023, Shaw submitted an expense report to DG that included requests for payments for her time dedicated to making social media content. Such requests were outside of the terms of the agreement. DG then asked for classifications related to the various expense listed by Shaw, but backups, receipts, and expenses were not provided. Ms. Shaw had certainly obtained a blind obligation in her contract related to social media activities that she Valued, valued dated multiple times, but DG chose not to enforce them as to not create a strained relationship. In total, Veronica Shaw received 120000 in payments for a partnership with Dames Gourmet and Pig Sauce since August of 2022 to date. DG offered to pay her attorney's fees to go over her contract to make sure all payments she has received are in fact correct, but she declined. Uh, similar every time I have to submit expenses. I don't know why it keeps doing this. My internet is going in and out again, and I hate it. The pink sauce creator has broke out. Oh, the pink sauce creator says she's broke after being financially sabotaged by a business partner, Dave Gourmet. The company says it's paid the money. Veronica Shaw partnered with Dave Gourmet on January to bring her viral pink sauce to Walmart. 
Last week, she launched over launched a $10,000 GoFundMe campaign saying she's been financially sabotaged. Days Gourmet claims that his paid shot $120,000 to date and is seeking to resolve the dispute. Okay. Roughly eight months after arriving at Walmart, the ill-fated TikTok-born pink sauce is once again embroiled in controversy. The comment, com, and dragon fruit, coconut cream, onion, okay, this one's different. The condiment, a malango uh, of dragon fruit, coconut cream, onion powder, and ranch flavoring was intentionally invented, unintentionally invented by Miami-based Veronica Shaw, who goes by Chef P on social media, it quickly became the subject of both viral fascination and safety concerns while it launched in 2022, with customers reporting error, nutrition labels and bottles arriving broken. This January, in what happened to be a second coming of life product, Shaw partnered with supplier and distributor Dave Grismay, a hot sauce and pasta creator. While its total sales are unknown, TikTokers in January noticed that the item quickly went on clearance by the end of the month, currently on Walmart's website. However, the sauce is being sold at the retail price. Shaw told TikTok viewers in a video posted earlier this month that she sold 2,000 units. It was $8. Last week, Shaw shared a considerable different tone online. She unveiled a GoFundMe campaign in a bid to raise 1000 for herself, saying she had been silenced and financially sabotaged. While she didn't name Days Gourmet, she said she trusted a company that is trying to take, a vin take everything away from her. They lied to me, she wrote in the GoFundMe description, which has raised just $921 to date. This was old, so who knows? They're not paying me, and they are not being transparent about records. I have tried on multiple occasions to try and come to one accord with them, but they refused to reimburse me for marketing expenses that I spent on my own funds towards. They are refusing to pay me the royalties that is owed to me. Shaw, who did not respond to insider requests for comments, said on GoFundMe that she is a single mother and doesn't have enough money to buy food for her children or to get them clothes for school, saying she was living off of a $20 a day. She also said she's facing eviction for her apartment. When reached, Dave Gourmet told Insider it disagreed with Shaw's versions of events. We take a disagree with Ms. Shaw's allegations, a company spokesperson said. Dave Gourmet has paid Chef P $120,000 to date, and it continues to make all payments as due and on time based upon the terms of the contract. Insider reviewed screenshots of bank statements shared by Dave's Gourmet reflection payments. It says it's made to Shaw as well as a company called Flavor Cozy, Co Crazy, Crazy Inc., which is registered in her name. There were 12 total transactions in the screenshot totaling 1,020. It's 120, that was 120, I, I can't get over this, too much. The payment began in August 9, 2022, according to the document provided by Dave's, and the latest transaction occurred on August 17th of this year. Dave signed a statement that it has overhead to the term of the agreement with Ms. Shaw and is attempting work with her to miss media the dispute. We're Offer to reimburse Ms. Shaw for her lawyer's time. Yep. Walmart.
Can you buy the pink sauce? Walmart now sells viral TikTok comment commented sauce. Can I just call it a sauce? Remember that pink sauce that went viral on TikTok last summer? Now you can buy it at Walmart. TikTok creator Chef P first unveiled the Pepto Bismol color dipping sauce on the social media network last stream. As interest bubbled up, sales grew, and so did some criticism. Customers had questions about information on the nutrition label, number of servings, and whether milk was an ingredient, and the price $20 at the time. So Chef P. Paul's production reached a deal with Dave's Gourmet, which makes hot sauce and so much more. Um, it's a bright bubblegum pure condiment that can be used for many foods. Chef P. posts videos on TikTok last summer. Uh, ranch flavor. See, some people are saying that like there's ranch in it. Originally there were containers. What does the pink sauce take like? That's a picture of uh, her. What's the deal with FDA sauce? What are people saying? Such a sauce being Walmart. While some people on Twitter were surprised the product laying in Walmart, many were happy for Chef P. I do remember her getting a lot of heat negatively and I'm happy she didn't allow that to stop her one person said on Twitter. Another person noted that clearly she did what needed to be done to get her product on the shelves. I'm gonna pull. Let's continue with Chef P. There's even more drama surrounding Chef P's viral sauce. The tea. When they say you fell off but pink sauce just sold to a thousand bottles when they say you just okay oh food is so good period although we talk about okay that was until summer 2022 hmm. i'm trying to figure out if we can pink sauce lady launched a gofundme so that's her in the store at walmart oh here's her gofundme right here i don't love that picture of her probably because her skin's pink and that's just like are you okay a label mishap so here's another picture of her pink sauce creator reveals she completely broke after being financially sabotaged i think we already talked about this one it's hard to like find like a bunch of pink sauce creator wants to move on with her life after controversy the creator of the internet famous pink sauce chef p says she's ready to move on with her life after colorful condiment came under fire in 2022. Two years after the pink sauce stirred up on the net, Veronica Shaw, I actually like her name, I don't know why she goes by Chef P, also known as Chef P, is rethinking her future as a food focused content creator. On May 20th, 2024, the influencer uploaded a video to her YouTube channel titled Where I've Been. In the video, she went over a few major changes that have taken place in her life and detail her plans for the future. In 2023, I was really depressed, she admitted. I always said myself a lot. I've been putting a lot of focus into the decision of myself. I've been doing a lot of research into ever myself. What is this going on? Oh, stop. How do I pause you? I just want to pause you. Oh, you're just annoying. Okay, we'll just go on down. I've been putting a lot of focus on myself and doing a lot of reaches into receive, reinventing myself. What do I want to do? Where do I want to go? Shaw revealed that she was focused on YouTube as her primary platform, despite gaining worldwide fame on TikTok. On top of that, she hopes to make longer content as opposed to her short forum videos. And she's not entertaining any criticism about her pink sauce for two years prior. I'm just ready to move on with my life, Shaw said. No more negativity. 
I don't have no tolerance for no trolls. If you come on here trolling saying kind of unnecessary stuff that don't need to be said or talked about stuff from two years ago, you will not be acknowledged. She also teased some big changes coming to her official Pink Sauce website, saying that she's converted back to a small business from her days partnering with Days Gourmet. Things are a little slower because it's a small business again. I'm doing everything on my own, but you know, it's okay. Sales are still being made and we're still doing our own thing. In 2022, TikTok became uh, with the pink sauce and hot pink crafted by a professional chef. <sighs> After her creation went viral, Chef P started to sell sauce online. After the sauce was picked apart by, I'm gonna say critics, Chef P got her big break when the production got picked up by Dave Gourmet's, who sold her, sold her at Walmart's location across the U.S. However, the influencer claimed that she was completely broke. Okay. This is the new pink sauce. Yes, that's right, y'all. I said new pink sauce. This video was super long. Bigger. Get free subscriptions to your email. So let's see what we have. We have pink sauce. They're about $20 each. Seasoning. So they're seasonings now. Blue sauce seasoning, blue sauce, pink sauce. I guess it's easier to make um, seasoning. And I will say she is doing one thing right now. She is going to farmer's markets. I wish she would have had a stand though instead of going up to people who are already like going up to other farmers. But I definitely think she should trying and I think she should have started there. I know you want to taste unisex heavy cotton tea. I know you want to taste. But there is some controversy about um this video. This video that we are going to see and I'll probably show you. Blue sauce seasoning, it's about uh, 20 bucks. Pay in four installments, okay. Includes our new blue sauce sweet and tangy seasoning. A culinary gem crafted from freeze dried blue, S-P-I-R-U-L-I-N-A. This unique seasoning delivers a homage blend of sweet and tangy flavors, infusing a memorizing blue hue into your dishes while tantalizing your taste buds. Derived from pure blue, I'm not sure how to say that word, renowned for its vibrant color and nature rich profile, the seasoning brings an element of novelty and nutrition to your culinary creation. Its sweet undertones complied with a Stable tanginess makes it a versatile addition to various recipes. If I didn't have allergies to about everything, and I do mean like everything, including honey and a bunch of other stuff, I would give it a try if y'all would want me to, but only the mix and the sauce and Walmart. But I'm also very cautious because I have such a bad gastritis. So I probably won't do this. Okay. Experience the magic of a blue by adding a dash of this seasoning to your smoothie bowl for an intoxicating pack kick. Sprinkle it over fresh shell to add a delightful tangy twist. Or use it as a colorful fishing touch on seafood and grilled dishes for a very striking appeal. We take pride in delivering a seasoning that is not just flavorful but also wholesome. Our blue, sweet, and tangy seasoning is crafted without any artificial additives or preserved is ensuring a pure, natural taste. Ow. Unleash your culinary imagination and transform everyday meals into vibrant, stunning creations. See, now that I wouldn't mind at first, and I would have given her the benefit of the doubt if it wasn't going on and on, but I hope she, like, is doing better and 
hopefully maybe someone's going to help her manage her money because once you get time money it gets confusing how to manage it i've heard too many stories where people are like i got a bunch of money and then i spend it all i'm like yeah sauce mix includes what you'll need one cup of milk three fourth cup sour cream one cup mayonnaise one fourth cup sweet chili sauce feel free to replace with plant-based options one milk mix the seasoning with milk and set aside in another bowl add the mayonnaise sweet chili sauce and sour cream together Stir the seasoning mixture and the mayonnaise mixture together. We encourage you to be creative and show up your recipes. Blue sauce seasoning ingredients. Organic blue, I don't know what this word is. Powdered honey, powdered blueberries, garlic powder, onion powder, brown sugar, sea salt, spice. Allergies, some of the ingredients used are made in a factory that precedes white eggs, milk, and soy. Wheat made a cottage operation that is not subject to Florida FS regulations. Okay, let's see what the pink one says, because I'm curious now. Ingredients, organic freeze-dried red dragon fruit powder, strawberry powder, honey powder, brown sugar, vanilla powder, salt, spicy, and methodaxertin? I don't know how to pronounce that. So, it is interesting. And it looks like you do the same. Oh, no. What you need, one cup milk, two cups Cool Whip, one cup condensed milk. Mix the seasoning with milk and set aside in another bowl. Add the Cool Whip and condensed milk together. Stir the seasoning mixture and the Cool Whip mixture together. I actually think this was a better way to go for her because this might have made it a little easier. Is the price still steep? Yes. Introducing our delectable sweet pink dragon fruit seasoning, a culinary delight handcrafted from the finest freeze dried red dragon fruit. This exquisite seasoning embodies a perfect balance of natural sweetness and vibrant pink hue. Evaluating your dish, e elaborating your dish? With a touch of tropical allure sourced from a red dragon fruit, this seasoning offers a bush of fruity flavor that completes a variety of dishes, sprinkling it over fresh fruit salad for any extra layer of sweetness. Blend into a smoothie for a tangy twist, or dust it over dessert for a visual stunning and flavorful garnish. Our sweet pink dragon fruit seasoning is a virtual addition to your pantry. Adding a playful and touch to both sweet and savory creations, it's an ideal complement to baked goods, enriching the flavor profile of cakes, pastries, and even savory dishes like grilled chicken or roast vegetables. Crafted with care and distinction, this seasoning is free from artificial adjectives, ensuring a pure and natural taste. With every sprinkle, unleash your culinary creativity and infuse your meal with the enchanting flavor and mesmerizing color of red dragon fruit. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze in now, I'm not sure. Express the magic of a tropical sweetness with our sweet pink sauce seasoning, a delightful addition to your kitchen. Pink buns? That seems like a weird thing to make just me though. The hot pink sauce will now be labeled for actions download immediately to the email during checkup. Shipping and returns. I don't know if I... No, that just looks weird. The sauce is fine. This just... No. That could just be me because I am not... Uh, no. Okay, let's keep looking on her website. Ooh. Chef P's Savory Notebook. Ah, so it's kind of like a cookbook. Kind of, but it's a notebook. That's interesting. Well, this shows what it looks like. I just want like, okay, I mean, it doesn't look awful. I probably am allergic to it with my luck. I can't eat anything. 
That is like super pink. Now I get why people were like, yeah, pink. Tie-dye chicken and biscuit recipe, the pink sauce. Truffle lobster penny recipe. So it doesn't look awful. I know you want to taste this just creepy. 55, 55, 49, 99, 24, 99. Yeah, 24. Pink eggs. Oh yeah, my grandmother likes to make the red eggs, so. Pink pasta recipe, super cute chili wine tumbler. So, I mean, I think she's trying to make it better about Chef P. Chef P is an experienced artist. She loves to express herself through color and realistic abstract painting. Secretly suffering from anxiety and depression, she was desperate to find a source to heal herself his hope. I know what that word is, but oh my gosh, I can't say it. holistically. She began studying herbs, fruits, and vegetables that can help stabilize nutrition. I've heard about people doing that in your body and that when she fell in love with a freak called Pieti, she is leaving millions curious about her bright pink sauce. She landed a deal in major retail within less than six months of going viral. Chef P is inspired by the multicolored tradition she has learned through the years of helping her friends and family during holiday gatherings. She cultivated her style of cooking by fusing her way of cooking with the ethic tradition that she learned over the years. She continues to defy the odds by sharing her cooking methods with the world. Check out the merch, ebooks, and much more. Okay, so that is interesting. Let's see what we have. So this is basically, oh, I bet that's what it kind of looks like. And the blue sauce. I thought the blue sauce like was kind of interesting. So that is it. I hope y'all enjoyed it. This was longer than I thought it would be.